Hello YouTube, today we're going to make a video on how to fix a motor for the Tarantula X6. This is the Tarantula X6 motor. As you guys can see, this is this is the ground and it's broken. So we're going to solder that back and fix this part on the rotor or the motor I'm trying to focus it so you guys can see there it is it's bad it's all the engine the motor is good but it has those um, bent and you cannot pull it like this it won't come out so we're gonna need one of these. See if I can find it. Here it is. I need one of these and a soldering gun. If you have, you need a soldering gun if you have the ground um, loose. So first to solder the ground, um, we're gonna send sand the part get something to send it with and send what are you gonna where are you gonna solder it to after that sand it I'm gonna grab the soldering gun I'm gonna put it in place and we're just gonna Put it back. I put a little bit extra on it <clears throat> since it it moved because that soldering it's kind of whack. There it is. So we just remove any excess. Gotta remove the excess. And don't make it really big because you know the motor's gotta go through the um the so the tarantula's mount place on it and it's certain width. Let me reinforce this one. Make sure you don't touch the cables. You don't want them to get. You don't want them to get um melted. So that's it for the soldering. Make sure it doesn't move. It's not going anywhere. All right. Now, we're going to remove the gear part, so <clears throat> this is how we do it. You're going to get your clamps and put it as tight as you can, in fact a little bit more, see? And we're gonna do not make force on the motor just on the part that it's bad just on the gear so we're gonna grab it there and tighten it up lose it again tighten it a little bit more and find where it's already squished and do it over Do 
do it a few times and it should come out. I got to tell you guys, you need to have these. This is for, I bought these for the Saima X5C. As you guys can see, this is for the Saima and it's, it's compatible. So, here it is. That's how you remove that part. Because it won't, it won't, you can't remove it without, you can't remove it like by pulling it because you'll break the motor so that's it <clears throat> and now we're gonna make sure everything's still working and it is so we're gonna put the new one in <clears throat> you're gonna notice that it's a f really, really tight. Um, it's really, really tight. It'll go in there, but it's it's really tight. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of crazy glue on the tip. Or super glue, whatever you have. <coughs> we're going to put, make sure you always hold it upside down. So we're going to put a tip, a little bit of glue on the tip. That's it. Do not put it upside or the super glue will go inside the motor. <clears throat> Just keep it like that. And now we're going to fit the part back in. Oops. Dropped it. There it is. It's in there. So we're going to leave it there. Do not touch it or anything. Make sure it doesn't pass through here. It's right at the edge. As you guys can see. It's right on the edge. It does not come out. Like it's not past the edge of the rudder so if it looks like this it means you did it right so that's pretty much it that's how you fix the motor of the Saima or the Tarantula X6 and that's it it's working I felt it there it is. You shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be moving it. You just glued it. So you should wait. But I can feel that it's, it's back. So it's fully operational. It's working. So I bought eight of these for a buck. Just one dollar on eBay. So anyways, that's pretty much it. I just want to show you guys that little tip. Just in case you're having that problem and until next oh a note if that happened to your motor that means that the gear on it it's bad so you you should replace that too and that's that's it till next peace